What's up, y'all, and welcome back to Seahawk Central Sports. Today, we've got another great episode in store where we cover volleyball, tennis, and golf. Then, we get to sit down with UNCW's athletic director, Michael Oblinger, so be sure to stick around. But before that, let's kick things off with Grace and volleyball. Thanks, Davis. This past weekend, the UNCW women's volleyball team had a clean sweep against North Carolina A&T. Saturday the 16th, the girls won in three sets. Katie Lance and Caitlin Callahan combined had 22 kills. The team had another win on Sunday the 17th, and this win moved the Seahawks to 5-7 and seven overall, and the Aggies dropped to 2-8. and eight. This past weekend, opened conference play for the Seahawks with back-to-back -back conference wins for the first time since 2015. Once again, Katie Lance led the Seahawks with her 15 kills and 4 digs. Coming in right behind was Sarah Thompson with her 10 kills and 16 attacks. We wish the girls good luck next week as they travel to Elon for another packed weekend September the 23rd and 24th. Now let's head to Sarah for her tennis report. Thanks Grace. This weekend, men's tennis opened their season at the Seahawk Invitational. On Friday, Reese Falk, Gabe Hurtado, and Alex DiGabriel qualified for the semifinals. On Saturday, Hurtado moved on to the finals in Flight A, with Reese Falk and Jonathan Barron continuing on in Flight A doubles. Next up for the team is the ITA Fall Regional, which will be held October 20th to 24th in Cary. Now we go to Taylor with our golf update. Thanks, Sarah. This week, UNCW men's golf player Walker Isley was named the CAA Player of the Week. Isley also led three Seahawks in the top six of the final standings as the golf team earned a five-stroke win in the Gopher Invitational. The UNCW women's golf team won the golf week with a total tournament score of 862. Keep up the good work, UNCW golf. Now on to Davis with our interview. Thanks, Taylor. With me here today, I have UNCW Athletic Director Michael Oblinger. Mr. Oblinger joined UNCW in April 2023 after longtime athletic director Jimmy Bass retired. Mr. Oblinger, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, I'd like to start at the beginning of your UNCW career. What drew you to Wilmington initially? Wow, um, a lot, actually. You know, great question. Um, you know, really being at UConn for as long as we were, um, we had a great job, a uh, great setup. My family was happy. We enjoyed Connecticut. Um, so really it had to be something special and, and that's what this job was in terms of uh, community, university, the chancellor's vision, um, how competitive our teams are, um, a wonderful brand. Uh, my family uh, has now moved to the southeast so really proximity to family is, is a huge thing for me and you know as my children get older so I mean there were so many wonderful things and you know really the process for me started uh, right around Christmas time where I had a conversation with, with one of the uh, people, one of the persons on the, search, on the search committee. Um, and from then on there, every time that I talked to somebody or everything, every time I gained a new piece of information or researched it more and more, like it just became more and more that this was where we were supposed to be. And so um, very blessed to be here, but I mean, this was a no brainer and, and I'm so fortunate that they picked me. <laughs> That's terrific. We're certainly glad to have you here with us. Um, now, can you tell me a little bit about what it is that an athletic correct an athletic director does. Sure, so, so really you're, you're providing leadership to really the whole department. Um, and when I mean the whole department, so here at UNCW we have about 120 uh, employees, uh, 19 sports, 350 or so student athletes or so. And, and so the athletic director is tasked with really charting the course and, and really providing general leadership um, to, the, to the whole department. We're very uh, student athlete centric here as it, as it relates to our decision making. So whatever decisions we make it has the student athlete experience and core in, in that decision making. But, you know, uh, intercollegiate athletics is changing every day. It's a constant um, evolving um, environment. So you've got to be on your toes. You've got to be almost two steps ahead of, of what's out there. And, and, and so um, it can be complicated at times. You want to win at the highest level. You want to be able to graduate your kids and make sure they have a positive experience while they're here. But, um, but overall, you know, I'm tasked with, with, again, leading the organization. Yeah. Um, speaking of what you do as an athletic director, you got here and immediately got to work. Within your first week, you hired a brand new women's basketball head coach. Uh, coach Nicole Woods. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about that process and how you finally landed on her? Sure, really that process actually started when I did my research with uh, the, inter the AD interview. Uh, so really, you know, into, into December and January um, in evaluating where all the coaches were and currently of all the programs. Um, obviously, uh, Tina Martin was in an interim situation for the, pre for the previous season. So then you go into a situation where 
you're, you're either going to keep Tina Martin on as a permanent or go out and search. And so really, even when I was here during the interview process, I was asking questions specifically about the, the program itself, right, in terms of what's going on day to day, uh, what's going on within the program. Um, you know, obviously you can follow results, you know, wins and losses, but at the same time, it, it, the story's not really told with that. So, yeah. um, you know, we got through the season, um, we went out with a search, Tina Martin was certainly a, 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 a candidate there, but, you know, once we identified the things that were important to us, as it was connectivity to the region, uh, recruiting, and obviously having success at a high level, uh, Coach Woods was all that, right? From Gastonia, yeah. was at Charlotte for 10 years, leading up the recruiting efforts there. She has wonderful ties throughout the Southeast and the AAU and the high school circuit. So, um, you know, and, and, and you know, similar to the AD search for me, uh, the more and more I got to know her, the more and more I knew she was the right candidate for us. And, and fortunately for us, she's, she accepted our job. Yes, we're certainly happy to have her with us here. Mm -hmm. Now, Final question here, what are your goals for your first full academic year here at UNCW? Sure, so really you know, think about the first academic year really in two segments. And, and so the first six months of us being here was really just learning and getting educated on the place. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, when you take an AD job or, or a job in this type of role or this leadership role, you know, you're thrusted into a situation where you have all the, the leadership ability, all the power, you can make all the decisions you want, but you really don't know anything about the organization. You don't know anything about the history, the culture, um, you don't know anything about the people. So for me, the last six months was about learning why we do things, learning about the people, learning about strengths, learning about opportunities. Uh, and so now we'll start to tweak things a little bit as it relates to the student athlete experience, um, driving revenue at the highest level, because ultimately if we're going to enhance the student athlete experience, it, it ultimately comes down to revenue and, and mm -hmm. producing those types of things. So we've got to be really, really diligent there uh, and, and, and winning. We, we, we want to talk about winning every single day. We want to talk about driving revenue every single day. And we want to talk about the student athlete experience a, a every day. So I'm in that, you know, that second six months, if, if you will, of my first academic year, mm -hmm. um, you know, very much looking forward to, um, you know, getting into, again, learning more what's going on, but over time we'll see, start to see some shift of, of, of priorities. Yeah. Well, Mr. Oblinger, we're very excited about what you have done and what you'll continue to do. We wish you and all our athletics teams the best of luck this year. Awesome. Thank you again for being with us. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Grace. Well, that'll do it for another episode of Seahawk Central Sports. Be sure to check out all the upcoming games this week and support Seahawk athletics as much as possible. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.